WGBH Arts Editor Jared Bowen has taken me to several shows over the past year to expose me to some culture. But I recently learned there's a major cultural event he'd never experienced, the American classic It's a Wonderful Life. So I took him to the Brattle Theater in Cambridge for a screening, and we invited a few other It's a Wonderful Life virgins along for the ride. Is the butter real on the popcorn? It absolutely is. Raise your right hand. It's totally That's your left hand. I'll take that. A ton of butter. Where have you been? Boom, boom. I mean, what, really? I've been here. It takes a while to organize hundreds of my friends. Holy moly. This is like unbelievable. All virgins like you. You want some of this? Yeah. I'm going to get my it's own real inside. butter. I know. That's real right. butter. I'm very excited to have let's my go, own inside. Let's go inside. Right, is everybody ready? <laughs> Woo! I'm so excited that you're all here because I have, in my 25 years on the planet, yeah. <laughs> I have never seen this film. He's the arts editor of WGBH and hasn't seen one of the most famous films in American history. It's been out for 69 years. Harvey Silverglade, I'm so glad that I am not the only one here who hasn't seen this movie. Do you know anything about the film whatsoever? No, except that it's upbeat. And I don't usually see upbeat films. I see, because of the kind of work I do, I'm a more downbeat kind of guy. Are you sure? I have the impression, that's funny, because I have the impression that it's not an upbeat film. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm going to talk to the non-virgin half of the family. Here she is, Elsa Dorfman, world's most famous Polaroid photographer, I should say. So you have seen this thing, Elsa, is that correct? I've seen it about ten times. And? And I love it. Why did you think they need to see the film? Because Jimmy Stewart's a babe. <laughs> it's one of the greatest movies of all time. It is in the canon of American cinema. It's got one of the greatest messages ever. And you'll come away a changed man at the end of the film. You think I'll be changed? I would question if you had a soul or not if you didn't. Oh, no pressure. <laughs> I'm sitting next to Jerry over there. What is the one thing you're not allowed to do? at a play or a movie if you're sitting next to Jared. What is it? You're, you're not allowed to eat anything. It bothers him. He can't concentrate on the film. You want the moon? Just say the word and I'll throw a lasso around it and pull it down. Hey, that's a pretty good idea. I'll give you the moon, Mary. I'll take it. Oh, it's against the law to commit suicide around here. Yeah, it's against the law where I come from, too. Good idea, Ernie, a toast. <laughs> To my big brother, George, the richest man in town. It was brilliant. It was a parable about making it through the world. You know, I'm in a, I'm in a business of dealing with people who haven't been able to make it through the world. Um, and I thought this was a great lesson. It was just a lot darker than I expected, like a lot. Yeah, it was just a really sad movie. Obviously, it was uplifting at the end, but I didn't know it was that dark the whole way through until the very last part. Does it hold up? I'll probably watch it again every year <laughs> for the rest of my life, but only once a year. Every time a bell rings, an angel gets his wings. A virgin no more, Jared <laughs> Bowen joins me. So come on, what do you think? I, I really loved it, and I'll tell you why. I, I, to, to watch Jimmy Stewart in this film and to see the real world, to see life churn through him, you see the anguish on his mm -hmm. face, and, and the filmmaking is extraordinary, that you have these very intimate shots, and when he's really in the moments, the pit of despair, those dark circles under his eyes, the real tears that are coming down. I will tell you, Jim, this film, film actually really rattled me because it was so dark. I yeah, wasn't prepared. As, you know, and by the way, I, I made fun of you. I'm going to follow your lead. I'm going to see the new Star Wars movie in 2085. <laughs> so is there any, by the way, despite the darkness, it's still fine for kids. I mean, not like five and six-year-olds, but a little higher single digits fine, yes? Oh, absolutely. I have, yeah, no doubt. Yeah. Okay, what other classic have you not seen? And I'll take you to it. Uh, La Dolce Vita. That's the next one that I've never seen. I'm dying I've to see seen it. that too. It's a deal. Uh, okay, We're perfect. going. Jared, <laughs> right. it's great to see you. Thanks so much, Jared. But we had a huge fun time. Thanks to the Brattle Theater.